Next time you're taking a trip, give yourself a minute to look around the airport. You'll see fellow travelers rocking their personal style, whether it's comfortable sweats or glammed up maxis. But no matter what you're rocking, here are some jet-setting don'ts we should all be aware of. It's complicated. Most trips on a plane mean you'll be sitting in a tight space for an extended period of time. And don't forget the bathrooms, either. Make sure to avoid any outfits that will be too complicated to get off and on in those teeny tiny laboratories. Hitha Palapu, author of How to Pack and founder of the site Hitha on the Go, says jumpsuits are difficult to remove in teeny bathrooms. Also, avoid short skirts or dresses and anything low-cut. Karin Venbar, co-host of the Pop Fashion Podcast, recommended staying away from anything that is fussy. You want to be able to be comfortable. Your best outfit of the day. Considering your Instagram habit, it's tempting to break out a brand new outfit for your flight. But relationship expert April Messini says, never wear anything that, if it gets spilled on, will supremely bum you out. It's very easy to spill or get spilled on when there's turbulence and elbow to elbow seatmates. You were in the dust bowl and you got thrown a bunch of paint all over you. What would that look like? me. <laughs> Save your outfit of the day for when you're officially off duty. Highs and lows. With the fluctuating temperatures on planes, it's hard to know how to dress. Massini notes, planes have a funny way of getting chilly, so don't wear something for hot weather, even if you're traveling to a hot weather climate, without bringing layers to snuggle up in during a plane ride. But planes can also get pretty hot. Richardson says, wearing layers means you can adapt to whatever the temperature on the flight is that day and throughout the flight. Meanwhile, Aaron Hockel, who travels extensively for business in sneakers, said one thing he never travels in anymore is flip-flops. He explained, let's face it, airplanes can get very hot and that means sweating. It is incredibly embarrassing to smell your own feet at the start of a five or six hour cross-country flight with no options to cover them up. While we're on the subject of footwear, killer shoes. When it comes to your feet and flying, go for comfort over style. You never know how far away your gait will be, so make sure you're able to easily walk or run. Throw some cute heels in your carry-on if you're hitting a trendy spot as soon as you arrive. Redfin chief economist Neela Richardson says, It's common knowledge that your feet will swell on a plane, so I like to avoid heels and wear shoes that are cute but comfortable, like a pair of Mary Janes that have a good insole, or a pair of stylish sneakers. PJs. There's so much to do on the morning of a flight, so sometimes getting dressed just seems like too much work. However, you're still going out in public. Don't show up to the gate agent in your jammies. Vembar says, I know that airlines are such a pain these days, but dress up a smidgen. It's okay if you wear athleisure wear, but think of your fellow passengers and try to put on a fresh set of clothes before you board. Heavy metal. Going for a little sparkle? Don't forget about getting through security. Vembar notes, this one is a bit of a surprise, but did you know that a number of sweaters that look metallic actually have metallic threads woven through the garment? Not wearing this is more about the hassle you will get through security, because you will absolutely be stopped before you even make it to your gate. Making sense. Be mindful of your fellow passengers when applying your favorite perfume or lotion before your flight. Vembar recommends anything scented should be applied with a light touch. This is being a good neighbor, because you never know what type of allergies people have around you. Baggy clothes when you travel, you want to be comfortable, so chillaxed clothing might seem like a good choice. However, it may also make you look a tad suspicious. Tracy Edwards from AAA Travel Sales told CBS News, loose clothing will cause some delays because they think you're hiding something under there. Save the mystery for Vegas. Get comfortable. So what can you wear on a plane? Palapu says, my go-to travel outfit is skinny ponty pants, a longer t-shirt, a cardigan or blazer, comfortable flats, and a scarf wrapped around my neck. I also like a full monochrome look with wide-legged pants, matching t-shirt, and a draped trench all in the same color. Think easy breezy when you choose your look. Palapu says, maxi dresses are great when traveling to a warm location, topped with a denim jacket. Just stuff the jacket in your bag and you're ready to hit the beach. Too much jewelry will hold you up in security, but wearing a great scarf instead can keep you warm and looking chic on the flight. Overall, just make sure you're comfortable. Just not too comfortable. Dress code. 
Leggings may seem like the perfect travel pant, but they could keep you from boarding your flight. In 2017, United Airlines landed in hot water for not allowing two teenage girls wearing leggings to board. The airline tweeted, The passengers this morning were United Pass riders, who were not in compliance with our dress code policy for company benefit travel. But even if you disagree with the dress code, it's not going to change. Virgin America CEO David Cush told Fox News, In the end, the flight crew is in charge of the aircraft, and they have to make judgments based on what they think is going to create the safest and most comfortable environment for everyone on the airplane. It's a policy. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a very, this is a very strict plane that I'm on. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.